What's up? It's your boy Big Doula here at the Lord King. Let's talk less is more. Okay, when, when you go to design a game, when you go to design a process, when you go to design what you're trying to do, less is more. What do I mean by less is more? Of course, less is not more. Um, whenever I heard my bosses say that before, oh, you know, we have to downsize, but less is more. Now we can get more done. F that. No, you can't. That's why I'm saying less is more. Less is more for you because the less you try to do, the better that product will become. The better your planning will be. The better the end game will be. Because this is, if you're in the game design, this is, you know, your first time, second time, third time, fourth time. You're, you know, it's not, it's not a big process for you. This hasn't been something you've done. So the less you have to worry about, the less you have to do, the better the game will come out. And now I know everyone's going to say, well, if the game's not complicated, if it's not complex, if it's not this amazing game, it can't be fun. All I got to tell you is Angry Birds. Now, is Angry Birds a complex game? No. This game has made billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. And I guarantee you, any college junior in programming could make that game. Could make it tomorrow. But what it was, it was fun. They took a concept and they made it as fun as it could be. It was a very, very, very simple concept. And they made it as fun as it could be and they were rewarded for it. So if they try to do a lot of stuff in the first game, they try to do all these crazy maneuvers and all these crazy programs and all this stuff, all this other stuff, that game might not work. That game might not be what it is today or what it was yesterday. But they did it. They made it simple and they made it fun. Another example, Super Meatball. Made by two people. Super Meatball wasn't revolutionary from a programming perspective. Super Meatball wasn't this uh, uh, elaborate labyrinth of games and all this all the crazy stuff. No. No. They took one concept and they kept expanding on it every level. Hey, I'm going to teach you how to do this on this level. On the second level, I'm going to teach you how to do that. On the third level, I'm going to teach you how to do that. Now, on the fifth level, you got to do them both. Ooh, crazy concepts. Crazy. Oh my God, stop. It's crazy. No. You don't have to outthink everybody. You don't have to make everything complicated. Take something simple, make it fun, and then run with it. Less is more. And that's what I mean by less is more. It's your boy, Big Doula, here at the Lord Kings. Watch, like, subscribe, comment, share all the videos. Please share the videos. I need to get out there. I'm trying to, trying to build this empire. It's your boy, Big Doula. Peace. What's up? This is your boy, Big Doula. Here at the Lord King, discussing today how to become an indie game designer, episode four. So in the, in, in the previous weeks, we've really talked about how to structure um, the venture moving forward. How do you structure starting this project? And this is 